Hello, today I'm going to explain how to work with bugs. So, let me open my project, okay? And when I open my project, I will open boards. And let me show you project settings. In project settings, you can go to Teams configura team configuration. In, in team configuration, you have three possibilities. First of all, is bugs are managed with requirements. It means that bug will appear on the Kanban board and product backlog and then can be prioritized with requirements with also. They will also appear on the task board, okay? And you can put them in, uh, you can break them in a task. Bugs are managed with tasks, okay? So it means bugs is a children of re uh, requirement and they are going to prioritize with tasks, okay? They can be moved across the column, remember that. And last but not least, bugs are not prioritized against other work on the backlog. They don't appear on the either backlog on board and you can uh, uh, get them by queries. I. To be honest, I didn't see that anyone is using this, this option. So let's start with bugs are managed with requirements. Okay, now, in our ERP project, okay, when we go here and we open boards, we can go to work items and I will create a bug, new work item bug. Now, you will see that I can assign to someone and I can say a title. The user cannot log into the system. System. Okay? And here, repro steps, we set it up, is that uh, uh, how can we rep reproduce the bug? So I will go here and say one, user enters user name. Okay, user enters password, correct. One, user click on OK button, user get a message, this is just an example, you cannot be logged in at this time, try again later, OK? And I will say it is going to be in iteration sprint 2, which is current sprint. And I will save it. Okay. Now let's go to sprint. So you will see, okay, you see the mistake, of course, that bug number 78, ID is not number 78, not the bug, the user cannot log in in the system. I will save it. And once again here, log in at this time, but Okay, who cares about that? We have a bug. That bug is where? In sprint number two. You can create it just, uh, you don't have to put it automatically to sprint. You can put it in the backlog. But let's stay in the sprint. When I go to sprint, okay, where is my bug? Here, okay? Let's say that I want to assign bug to myself, okay? Now it's assigned to me. If I want to put it in the new, I cannot do it. If I want to put it in the clarification, I cannot do it. If I go to, op if I go to open it, I can put it in clarification. I can save it, okay? I can go back to the backlog and you will see that it's in clarification, but it is not moved in 
that particular, particular column because of the project settings, which is here, team configuration, it said that bugs are managed with requirements. Okay, that is why. You can move them, oh, come on. You can move them from status to status here, okay. You can change the status, but you cannot move it in column. Now, let me go and uh, show you one thing. Here, you can see that I am 60 hours, that I have 60 hours of 72 re, uh, that I am uh, assigned to. And let me go to person. Okay, Nena Trekowski, no, sorry, here, all persons, but let me sh show you this e as a people. When you go to my, myself, and I go to myself, where am I, where am I here, you will see that I can't see the bug. Bug is not shown. That is also because of settings, project settings, which I sh showed you just uh, a minute ago. Let me go back here, and let me go to planning. Okay, to stories, pardon, sorry. And if I go here, I can see it. Now, you see I have 60 of 72 hours. One thing more. I can put that original et estimate is, is 10, remaining is 10. I will save and close it. Now, you will see that if I now refresh the board, okay, my sprint backlog, that I still have 60 of 72 hours. Once again, let me open this in new tab. You can see that I have original remaining estimate, but it is not calculated here. On the other hand, I can now create task for this item, Ch child task, and I will say fix the bug 78, okay? Just simple, okay? And I will click on okay. And I will say okay, it, it's to, uh, it is to Nena, task description, fix the, the bug and I will do this one, 78, okay? And I will say that original estimate is, let's say, 10, and remaining is 10. And I will save and close it, okay? Now, if I go back here, you will see that, no, of course, if I now refresh, I have now 60, 76 of 72, so this was increased, okay? Remaining is increased according to my backlog status, according to my date, etc., etc. So you see that I have now 10 hours here. Let me go to personal. Let me go here. Let me go to people. Let me go to Nenad. 10, 20, 60. Six, sorry, 40, 60, 70, okay? 70 hours. Let me delete this task. I have 60 hours, okay? That is how, and you should be aware one, uh, uh, one thing more, in this project settings, bug is not shown when you show people, when you show stories, okay. Now, let me change that to another settings. Now, let's go back here and let's, uh, under stories, let's find the bug here and let me put it in the new status again. Now let me go to project settings and let me go to project uh, to uh, team configuration and let me choose bugs are managed with tasks. Okay, 
I don't have to say save it because it's saved automatically. And let me go to ERP project. Now let me go to boards and let me go to sprints. If I go to sprint, now I can see it. Bug. Where? It's gone. Well, it's not. Let me show you where it is. It is in new state and it's unparented because I don't have a parent for it once again. So basically, when you change the project settings, and that is what I use all the time in the team configuration, when you change how you handle the bug, bug are managed with tasks, then once again here in the backlog, in the uh, sprint, you will see that it is here. Now, let me change, let me change to the clarification, okay? Clarification, save and close. It's in clarification. And be aware that these 10 hours are now calculated here. So let me go back to show you what I'm talking about. Let me open it and let me reset the whole thing and let me put it in the new, in the new. okay? It's in new. Let me go back to the all project settings, okay? And if I go to team configuration, and if I say bugs are managed with requirements, and if I go back to the sprint backlog, you will see that the bug is here no matter how much, uh, which status it has. But what I want to emphasize here, you cannot see it, uh, its remaining work and remaining work is 60 for myself. Let me go here and let me go to the people and you, you will see Nenad has 20 and 40 and no bugs is shown. But if I go to project settings now, and remember that bug has 10 hours remaining work, and I go to team configuration, and then I go to bugs are managed with tasks, so they are, as it says here, bu bugs appears as the children of Remarm, uh, 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 as the children, and they are moved across column on the task board. Now if I go back, first of all, what you can see is that bug is going to be shown here. It can be moved and be aware that this remaining work is added to other tasks remaining work and it is 70. So if you choose to conclude first project settings like here in team configuration, if you choose that bug are managed with requirements then you will have to create a task for bugs, tasks, and those tasks are going to be like ordinary tasks. Some people like that. I want to have a bug and I want to task to, task to fix a bug. Some, some people, some organizations, they like this one, team configuration and bug are managed with tasks. And then in that case, bug can be moved across those, let me go here, across those uh, uh, columns and the remaining work of a bug is calculated for the person. If, like in my previous example, we choose first options, so option, then we should create tasks because no matter how many hours do you put here, it are, they are not going to be calculated. And you will, get, uh, you will not see how some people, uh, some team members are utilized, are they over allocated or not. So it's up to you what kind of uh, settings are you, which, uh, which options of settings are you going to choose. But to conclude,
you have two possibilities. Either you will create a tasks for a bug and you will move tasks from column to column and bug will be like here, like here, like any other user stories here, okay? Either you are, uh, uh, choose second, second options and then you can move it from, uh, from column to column and the remaining work can be calculated for a specific person to which the bug itself is assigned to. Okay, I hope that clarifies how to handle with bugs. Thank you very much. See you.